Snest Drunk. And welcome back to Snest Drunk Plays Mega Man X2. Let's take on Sigma. Or uh, I guess Sigma hasn't been revealed yet. We all, you know it, I know it, the American people know it. It's going to be Sigma at the end of this uh, Dr. Wily style castle. Wow, why isn't the... Whoa. It's kind of weird how the floor doesn't... Or the level doesn't scroll, it just kind of stops. So you got to take a leap of, leap of faith. Anyway, yeah, we... Oh, wow, was that colossally stupid. Good thing I've got, like, five guys. I'll promptly waste all of them. Okay, so let's uh, trust the level here and just go straight down and follow these, uh, these steps here. Just ignore that guy. Keep going. Now, since we've been talking about drugs... <laughs> <laughs> Why was I talking about drugs anyway? What what was I? What brought that up? I think it was um, the fact that so many uh, Let's Play guys are so freaking hyped up and so like just obnoxiously over the top. And it's like it, I just can't watch so many of them because they're just like they're like morning radio DJs to me. It's like uh, you know, like listening to like. 105, the sunshine, my name is, uh, you know, today we've got Dan Bonner, the uh, the uh, local comedian, and coming up we got some music from Nickelback, and it's just, I'm not going to make it, shit, oh, I just barely made it, wow. But you know what I mean, like, it's just, it's, some of the energy is just so over the top, and it's, uh, and obnoxious, it's just like, enough already, like, <laughs> It's just not my thing, and I'll ne I'll never end up like that unless I do a big pile of cocaine before I freaking uh, record one of these, which is you know it's highly highly unlikely. Uh, you want to hear me have a panic attack on a live microphone? That'd be a wonderful idea. I wonder if that's ever happened. Actually, I would never want to actually watch it or anything like that or listen to it, because that would be fucking awful, but I wonder if anybody's actually had, like, some kind of, like, awful panic panic episode or, like, an anxiety attack or whatever um, when doing a Let's Play. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Rage Quit, obviously. That's... That uh, happens frequently. That's one strong burst of emotion that, that happens, but... Uh, yeah, I've had... Um, not to get too serious on this thing, know since we are playing a, a video game here but I've had um, you know going back to the drugs thing really um, and the reason why people do them um, isn't always just for fun oh shit I didn't make it I screwed that up oh well let's try again um, not to get too again not to get too serious but it's like you know, I've dealt with anxiety and depression literally as long as I can remember. As long as I can remember. My very first memories are, are me trying to car carpent I don't know how you say the word. Compartmentalize the how to deal with it. Like, I just didn't know. I thought it was something everybody just kind of dealt with in their own way. And I just had to come up with my own little system to, like, it was almost like a checklist. Like, okay, do this, do this, avoid this, and and then it's over, and then it's on to worrying about the next thing. You know, like it's it's hard to explain, but it, it was it was I had no idea how to put it into words or how to explain to anybody what it was like, um, the anxiety part, and then the depression part came uh, a bit later. But you know, oh this guy again, this is fun. Hey, and he skipped his dialogue too. I'm all about efficiency. Ah, he hit me. I'm just going to use the arm cannon on this guy, because who gives a shit? Oh, hey, thanks for going way up there, or you, I, you totally can't hit me. I'm much, very much appreciated. <laughs> thanks for helping me out. Um, but yeah, I mean, when it comes to especially anxiety and depression, too, it's like you want a break from your own mind. Like, you get tired of the same thoughts and the same you know the same like like the way uh, I need a fucking sub tank 
The way I define, God, this is such a weird conversation to have when, conversation with myself, essentially, to have when playing a video game, but, um, what, uh, the thing is, it's just, like I said, you just want to get a break from all that. The way I, d I describe anxiety is just, is just it's chronic oversensitivity to your surroundings. And it's, it's like being way oversensitive to all external stimuli, and it just gets too much. So after a while, it's just like I'm one of those people, I, I don't drink to drink. I have to drink to, like, get my brain in a different spot to, like, alter my brain chemistry almost so I don't have to freaking sit and think about shit for, you know, a few hours. It's a nice vacation from that. So that's where that comes from, I think, anyway. That's where, that's, I think addiction has a lot to do with that. It's just me pontificating, pretty much. Anyway, we are into the next, God, what a weird, this is a weird episode. Um, actually, what I'm, since we're on the subject, so we, since I'm on the subject, um, what, one of my goals in life, you know, it's the old uh, cliche to write the great American novel. I'd really want to, try and write a book, write a novel about anxiety and subsequent depression and how that all works. Because I would love to be able to describe what that's like to somebody that can understand what it is like. Because I grew up with an older brother and a dad um, that never understood what the hell my problem was. Uh, my mom did. She she was very good with be, you know being understanding and supportive and all that kind of stuff. But when other people in your family that, that you're uh, close with, like I'm close with my, I'm not very close with my dad, but I'm close with my brother. Um, it's it's hard to get through to them like what it's like and what it means and how to describe it in a way. Because you know the old uh, pull pull. Why don't you just get over it? Pull yourself over by your up by your bootstraps, like that kind of shit so stupid you know it's like so naive almost it's like don't you think I would have done that by now if I could it's like the old my dad's expl my dad's explanation for everything is oh he just wants attention you know like I'm a puppy dog it's like if I just want attention there are better ways to get attention than just <laughs> it's just it almost reminds me of uh, the uh, this is a tricky part here by the way just take the hits get up here uh, shit. What do I do here? Uh, I think I want to get that bat back. Let's blow that thing up. There's nothing coming. I thought there was a platform coming, but... Yeah. Let's uh, flip to the crystal and let's freeze him. Key. And let's do the same thing to this guy. There we go. That's an easier way to do it. Um, anyway, yeah. No, my dad is the type that's like... Just get over it. Or you're just doing it for attention, you know, like that kind of shit. And it can be really frustrating. So that's inspired me to try and create, uh, write a novel, right, of just an everyday life of how anxiety works and how it really changes and affects every aspect of every part of every day of your life. And that's no joke. It really does. It sucks. That's just the way it is. Um, and I've dealt with it, like, like I said, as literally as long as I can remember it. But anyway, it's time to focus. Let's, uh, this is the one boss, or actually it's the second boss, but the, the silk shot really comes in handy on this, on this one, on Magna Centipede and on this thing, because you want to use silk shot right away to blow these things up. But even if you're able to do that, this boss is still really, really hard, really frustratingly hard. Now I want to flip to, I think it's the fire. A speed burner, rather, sorry. And see, he moves up and down, and he shoots these annoying little things. And now I need another sub-tank. And I have a feeling I'm going to need all three sub-tanks full if I want to beat this guy. Son of a bitch. Come on. See, it's just, I don't know how to dodge what he's throwing at me. I don't even have half his life down. Let's try Magnet Mine. I think that's the other weapon that works with him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that actually works better. Yeah, this guy is just a mess. This, this, this boss fight is a mess. 
You have no room to work with. You have spikes beneath you. You've got two platforms. He's moving. There's so much shit going on. Like, this is so fucking tough. Uh, I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call this an episode. I will try again next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for indulging me. Have a great rest of your day.